So for the injection of Mawson's neuroma, uh, I've marked up some anatomy, I've marked up the third metatarsal and proximal phalanx, fourth metatarsal and proximal phalanx, and marked in actually in red this time where the nerve would be. But remember that it is a plantar nerve that actually gets trapped. And typically the entrapment is not between the heads of the metatarsals, it is somewhat more distally. So we've decided we were going to use injection therapy. A very good idea to mark these up in your first few cases. Uh, prepare the skin with some iodine. And we take our needle. I find very important to hold the syringe very, very lightly between your fingers rather than using your thumb. So take the syringe very lightly, stretch the skin and the point of injection should be that little bit distal to the metatarsals because the neuroma will be in about this area here but deep. So it's a little scratch into the skin and really talk to the patient and say that you're looking to advance the tip of the needle to try and contact and touch the tip of that nerve. So gently going through the deeper structures and you will often find the deep transverse metatarsal ligament at this area. And I'm just feeling the ligament there. And you're looking for the patient to give you feedback as to when you're on the right spot. I'm just a little bit proximal there. So I'm going to come out, come in a little bit more distally, scratch again. Ligament just there. And I'm pushing on through. And I'm looking for patient feedback and they will let you know when you're right on the air. And you really do need to take your time to uh, locate the nerve and it is quite deep down. Be aware that you're not coming through the plantar surface of the foot and be aware that sometimes patients will feel the needle, needle pricking on the underside of the skin uh, which is not necessarily where the neuroma is. And Eventually you'll find it, it is worth taking the time to look around and at that point the, the arteries are really quite small but you can aspirate and then when you're in the right grid square just inject and almost in one area, just move the needle around just a little bit to get all the branches. Withdraw and then pressure to keep the steroid from coming out of that needle hole.